What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 92 of Fusion. With this video, this is the, probably the longest video I've ever put into as far as work and effort. Uh, seeing how things work would be gear systems. Kind of giving you a hint of what the next video is going to be is I really tinkered with today about gears and what you can do with them, and I was able to get a planetary gear system working. Oh man, that was so fun, but uh, it was a bear. Okay, so how can we make gears easily? And this is where I got frustrated. I was like, there was a, a verbal yell at one point because I did not know that there was a tool for gears. So if you click on tools, click on add-ins, and then click on spur gear, it will actually make that gear for you. Um, there's a bunch of uh, very specific gear related terms in here, which I'm not gonna go in depth on, but these are by definition just the standard, unless you're dealing with particular material types. One thing I'm gonna say is that I'm not going this gear to be super large, so I'm gonna increase that this diametrical pitch up to five. I'm going to create a 10 tooth gear. And so what it'll do is it'll just, boop, there you go. There's a 10 tooth gear for you. Not a single problem. All right. Let's do it again. Let's hop in. Spur gear. Hit run. And instead of a 10 tooth gear, let's do a 20. You got to be kidding me, folks. It's that easy. We're going to click over back to solid. Let's move. This 20 tooth gear back though, half an inch. Click on capture position. Click OK. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and combine these two bodies or components together. So target body. And click join. What this will do for me is it creates a single compound gear that I'm gonna use for the rest of uh, this video. Now, I don't wanna do linear pattern. I found out if you did linear pattern with making this compound gear system, uh, you actually run into some problems when it comes to the joints. Like it would, it looks like it works, but it just, just doesn't. So what you're gonna use is the move copy. So we're gonna click on move, create a copy of this compound gear, we're going to kind of move it to where we want it to be, approximately, and then I might have to rotate it just a hair. Oh, negative 15, negative 20 doesn't work. I found it at negative 19. I'm sure there's some math reason for it, but, oh, that actually doesn't work too much. Let's, let's go back and fix that. Let's take this part and move it. Come on. There we go. Let's do one degree. Yeah, looks beautiful. Okay. As far as getting them to fit, that looks okay to me. Let's capture that position. Things look good. All right. What we're going to do now is instead of wasting our efforts and doing this again, we're going to just click move copy, but do it for both of these objects and go back. Oh, got to hit create copy first. There we go. We're already starting to create our compound gear system right here. Looks great. We're going to hit move copy. We're actually going to do that one more time. So I'm going to highlight all of them. Create copy and then go back two inches with that. So boom, in what? Four minutes with some explanation. We've already got a bunch of gears already made. This is just too cool. All right, let's now create an axle or axles for 
our gears to rotate around. That way when we can do our mates, our joints, things look correct. So I'm going to go ahead and just project those two holes. Hit E for extrude. And let's just go all the way back with it. Now here's where things start to get a little interesting. And that's because since we didn't move copy, it also wants to move copy anything we do to those parts. But I don't want that. So let's click New Component, and let's just go ahead and make it be flush. Click OK, and there we go. All right. Sweet, everything looks good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk about something I've never done before, and that is as built join. So we already have this gear set up, but it's we want to set it up and use the joints as it's built. I think this is kind of could be a, a little bit better uh, named. Maybe joints uh, could just be this in general. But in any case, since we've already built our object, we can just do the as built joints of this thing already set up. So how does it work? So we're going to click on two components. And that's going to be this front wheel and our axle. Actually, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's cancel out here quick. Let's rename these axles real quick. And compound gear. Let's do CG for compound gear. All right, let's go back. As build joint, we're going to click on compound gear one and axle. It's going to say, okay, you have these two components. What do you want to do with them? Well, by default, uh, it's going to be your last used joint type. So Revolut was my last used joint type. And it's going to say, okay, where do you want these Revolut about? That's it. Click OK. And there we go. Hit Shift J. And you can actually do this pretty quickly. That was it. We already got two in there. Let's now take these two out of the way. And let's just continue on where it's at. Now, we do have a little bit of interference here, so let's go ahead and move. Actually, I don't like that. Let's move. Make sure I got the right one here. There's one, there's two, there's three. And we're going to rotate it just a hair, like 19 degrees. Click OK. We can capture that position and then just continue where we're at. As built joints. Oh, something went wrong there. There we go. Apparently I didn't click hard enough. Looks good. Now, as I work my way down here, I'm going to go ahead and keep on just doing the same thing I've done before. So I'm going to montage this video up just a little bit and work my way all the way through the back. Alrighty, let's come back now. Okay, so we have used as built joints, put all of them in, and they also been moved or tweaked just a little bit to where there's no interference on the gears, or at least as minimal as possible. Now what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna go to our assembly. Oh, click on too many things. There we go, click assembly, and we're gonna do a motion link. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna click the drop down on this joints menu, and we're going to link our first two gears right here. So this is going to be a, uh, depending on which driver driven, a one to two or two to one ratio. So what I'm going to say is that the first one on the left is going to be our driver and the one on the right is going to be our driven. 
So when our driver goes a full 360, our driven is actually going to go two times that. So we put in a one to two ratio. And of course, make opposite reverse direction. It works. Looks good. So I'm going to click OK on that. And I'm actually going to take my first gear and make it disappear now. Because that way it's going to help me as I continue most of my motion links. So we're going to go ahead and click this one. Now, depending upon where these are at and where you did as your your as built, it can get a little tricky. So I'm just going to move my way down the list. So two to three. Now, if you click the wrong one, so let's deselect these. Let's do this two to four. Things are not going to be rotating as they should. And so just make sure you're working your way down the list. So we're going to do two to three. And that's going to be the same thing. It's going to be a one to two gear ratio. And it's going to be, oh, there we go. Don't need to reverse it. It's already going the good direction. Click OK. All right, let's just continue going down our way. So montage mode again, and I'm going to work my way down the rest of this list. Alrighty, we are back now. So using that gear add-on, we're able to make a compound gear system really easy, actually. And so if, and let's see if my computer doesn't cry here, if I animate this model, we're able to get a really, really fast motion. Uh, I think this is going just a little bit too fast for my computer to kind of refresh or the graphics able to keep up. But uh, we created a whole gearbox, essentially, uh, using that gear command and move copy and has built-in joints. I wonder if, let's just go ahead and animate this back one. Yeah, if we do the reverse, we kind of see those speeds a little bit better uh, as far as being able to do stuff. Anyways, this video has been tons of fun. Please stick around. Uh, here sometime soon, I'm going to kick out the planet gear systems and kind of walk through that. I know there are a couple of videos already out there on it. However, um, some of them I think are way above what we want and some of them are way below what we, what we need and don't explain it very well. Uh, but in any case, stick around and I'll see you guys hopefully in the next video. If these videos have been fun and helpful, please like and subscribe. Throw down in the comment section if you need help with anything particular. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.